Hi everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today we'll be going over the flexor digitorium profundus muscle. I'm going to be going over the location which includes the origin that is the starting point and the insertion which is the ending point. Followed by the functions and then finally providing you an exercise or two so you know how to strengthen this muscle. So let's start off with the location so we know what we're talking about and then we'll build from there. So the flexor digitorium profundus muscle is originated or started from the proximal three-fourths of the anterior and medial surface of the ulna. So the ulna would be on the pinky side of the arm, of the forearm. So the proximal three-fourths of that, which is up here, and that is on the anterior and medial surface of that particular bone, the ulna. And then runs down along your forearm here and inserts onto all four fingers on the distal phalanxes. And that is on the base of those distal phalanxes. So if you hold up your hand, uh, the first knuckle there by your fingernails, it would be inserted onto right, pretty much right at the base of that, right after that joint right there. And that is on all four fingers. Okay, so now that we know the location of the flexor digitorium profundus muscle, now we can move on to its functions. So this muscle has pretty much four different functions. The first function is flexion of the fingers of the second through the fifth finger at the very first knuckle line. They're right next to your uh, fingernails, pretty much. So that would look like so. The second function would be the next knuckle line down flexion of the fingers at that knuckle line. So the middle knuckle line. And then obviously both of them at the same time. And then Fourthly, excuse me, uh, there would be flexion of the wrist. So that would look like this. So now that we know the functions of this particular muscle, we pretty much know that this muscle is good for grip and uh, pretty much anything that involves gripping. So whenever you're lifting your dumbbells or barbells, this Okay, so the types of exercises that I'm looking to show you guys is pretty much um, finger curl exercise along with wrist curl exercises. You can also use a stress ball in order to squeeze that in order to help with your grip strength. Or, you know, um, a barbell clip or anything to help with your grip strength. So I'm going to go ahead and provide you an example or two. So, here is your example. Thanks everybody for watching my video. If you liked it, hit the like button if you found value in it or if you found it very helpful, possibly for a class or your own training or possibly a muscle muscular imbalance, hit the like button as well. Pass on with a share. Tell a friend. Um, I'd be more than, willing, more than willing to help anybody that has any questions regarding any muscles or possibly re with any um, training exercises or um, maybe possibly muscular imbalances or anything like that. Please remember, I am not a doctor. Um, I'm also not a physical therapist. I'm a certified personal trainer and that's what I specialize in. Uh, so again, 
I am willing to try to answer any questions. If I do not know it, I will tell you, and I will also try to look for the answer for you as well. But thanks again for watching, guys. See you guys next week.